Hi guys, hope you liked today's video on krill oil and heart health. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest on krill oil health benefits. Uh, for the rest, let's get started. So the heart is one of the body's most vital organs. Now, the heart pumps blood to the heart itself, of course, it supplies the heart with blood, but it also sends blood to the liver, to our lungs, it sends it to our brain, it sends it out to our skin, to our extremities and all of our limbs so that we can actually take those nutrients around the body, get them into our cell membranes and all of our organs and parts of our body so that those parts can function properly and can be healthy over the long term. So omega-3s are very well known for protecting the heart and giving heart health benefits. It's one of the biggest reasons why people buy omega-3s is actually for heart health. So there's plenty of science, lots of different research and science that looks at different ways that omega-3s can support heart health, which mainly tend to focus on things like keeping our arteries healthy, uh, the fat levels in our blood in check, and uh, also promoting healthy blood flow. Krill oil is extremely rich in these omega-3s and in particular is very rich in EPA and DHA, two of the most important omega-3s which we actually tend not to get enough of in our food. Many of the biggest sources tend to be oily fish, things like uh, salmon, mackerel and tuna. Uh, obviously we tend not to eat a lot of those uh, on a population level. Uh, many people do eat a lot of fish but uh, quite, quite many people don't. Therefore we need to get these EPA and DHA omega-3s from supplementation. So krill oil is a very rich source in those omega-3s. But krill oil is not just an omega-3 supplement. Krill oil also contains choline. Choline is an essential nutrient, has a load of different functions in the body, especially with, to do with the nervous system and the brain, but it's also very important for heart health. So krill oil contains both these omega-3s, the EPA and DHA, and choline, and those are wrapped together in a phospholipid molecule, which has uh, implications for being transported around the body. Uh, so krill oil has two different nutrients that can really support heart health. I'm going to go through these two nutrients now in this video and explain how they actually benefit the heart. So there are three different mechanisms of action of how krill oil can support our heart health, and this is through omega-3 and choline. So we'll start with omega-3. So the first mechanism of action is the actual effect that omega-3 can have on the body. So omega-3 is anti-inflammatory. It's the opposite to omega-6. We need both omega-3 and omega-6 in our diet, and they need to be balanced in our body to ensure that we have healthy inflammation in our body. We don't want to have too much inflammation. Inflammation is good, especially when it comes to injury and also the immune system, but we don't want to have high levels of inflammation at all times going around the body because that could be damaging, especially in our blood and for our heart. So omega-3 is anti-inflammatory and we tend to eat way too much omega-6 in our diets. Uh, the optimal ratio is around 2 to 1 from omega-6 to omega-3. Our western diets nowadays can, can contain anything from 15, 16 to 1, even as high as 20 to 1. So we're highly imbalanced in the omega-3 and omega-6 that we're eating. So we really need to make sure that we're eating more omega-3 in our diet, in specifically EPA and DHA, in order to make sure our omega-3 levels go up so we can help balance out that inflammation in our body. Helps our heart uh, function properly and make sure that there's not too much damage going on. So the second mechanism of action, and actually the third mechanism of action, is connected to choline. So choline is a really important nutrient when it comes to heart health. The first is that choline is really important in the production of these transport vesicles called lipoproteins, which are produced in the liver, and they actually transport fat around our blood in a safe way. So we really want to make sure that fat is transported safely around our body so that we're not getting any damage going on uh, in our blood vessels. So choline is really integral into creating these lipoproteins. You have de various different types of lipoproteins in the body, uh, VLDL, LDL, HDL. You might be familiar with LDL and HDL from cholesterol, good and bad cholesterol. Of course, cholesterol is good, but we also don't want it to be too high in our body. So choline is really important in regulating how we, how we transport fat around the body and ensure ensuring that it's being done in, in a safe way. So the third way that krill oil benefits the heart, uh, also from choline, is actually that choline reduces homocysteine levels in the body. It helps to control homocysteine metabolism. Homocysteine is an amino acid. It's a byproduct of our metabolism. It just occurs naturally in our body and that's no problem. Choline helps reduce this homocysteine and excrete it from our body. We don't want it to get too high because if it can get too high, it can actually damage the heart. So homocysteine is a biomarker for heart health. As I said, many people, many of us don't actually get enough 
enough omega-3s, but we also don't get enough choline in our diets. And if you don't have enough choline, homocysteine levels can start to rise, which then can be damaging for our heart. So choline isn't really important in order to keep our homocysteine levels in check. So that was three ways or three mechanisms of action for how krill oil, in particular the omega-3 and choline in krill oil, can actually help uh, heart health. And there's been lots of studies done over the past 15 years on krill oil, on various different aspects of health. The majority of this actually focuses on heart health and how krill oil can actually help with uh, protecting the heart over the long term. Most of these studies tend to focus around uh, fats in the blood, so helping to reduce triglycerides, so fats in the blood, or for example, keep helping keep cholesterol levels in check because we all know that cholesterol is really important for, for heart health. If you're looking for more information about any of these studies, head over to the description and we'll insert some of the links to some of the most important studies and also some of the meta-analysis which actually compare or bring all the studies together to look at uh, total effects. So I hope you enjoyed this video on krill oil and heart health. We'd love to hear from you, so if you have any questions or would like to share why you're taking krill oil or why you're interested in krill oil, please leave uh, a comment below and we maybe even include some of your suggestions in a future video. For the rest, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.